What truly is it going to take to actually secure Americans' sovereignty? How can we know that the North and the South borders of America are safe? Well, today we're going to talk about just that. And you may not like what I have to say, but I'll be honest with you. I'll tell you one thing it's going to take, and it's, it's going to be bad. House Speaker comes out, states that uh, they're looking to pass a big foreign aid bill. After all the promises he made to conservatives, Republicans, and America that our borders are more important, that's all changed. Why? Let's jump into it today. This video starts right now. Hey guys, welcome to the next. Thank you so very much for being here today. If you are new to the channel, go down here, press subscribe, ring the bell, and give us a thumbs up. Also remember, follow us on Twitter X. We're gonna be doing a monster giveaway worth hundreds of dollars, uh, basically on Twitter and on YouTube, but it's gonna be from people subscribing to our Twitter handle, so please go check that out. It costs nothing, of course, and we want to share our message across multiple platforms as much as we can. We share a lot of data there, again, periodically through the day to where we get these stories from. So please follow us there. Now, the point of today's video is to say, what will it take? Now, we have heard and seen stories of, of countless crimes, theft, murder, cities going, just uh, overflowing with people and, and the amount of problems that uh, this, this crisis has caused with our southern invasion and northern border even not being secure. We have issues, again, with the fact that uh, we have nationalists from different uh, areas of adversarial relationships coming into America. And that's scary because ultimately, as we talked a few videos ago, 20-something thousand Chinese nationalists have already come into America within the last three months. You don't believe that that's going to be a, a problem one day? You don't believe it's a bigger plan to say, you know, the more terrorists we get in here, the more Middle Eastern terrorists we get in here, the more people that's not assimilating to us, the more that we get all these people uh, allowed in the border that's not America loving, wanting to see a new future, they're wanting to be these nationalists that are going to cause problems. You don't think that's going to all be an issue the more and more people we allow in. Millions of people we've allowed in. Well, House Speaker Johnson, you know, his pro one of his promises was, well, you're not going to get any funding for Ukraine or Israel until we take care of the border. That's what we've heard. Politicians are so good at deceiving us. And, and the sad thing is we believe them. There was a comment yesterday, and he made perfect sense. He said, it's amazing how many times we, we you know, we, we make fun or we yell or we get mad that these politicians are doing this to us and all the while we're still voting for them. All the while we're not putting up candidates that could possibly uh, beat them. That's exactly right. Like the one I was telling you yesterday with Mississippi, our congressman went on a post on both sides, Republican and Democrat. Isn't that funny? I mean, it's, it's amazing that we cannot get better leadership in some of these areas. Well, Mike Johnson comes out just today since the Israeli attack since the Iranian tech in Israel, $95 billion supplement package to help our allies. Foreign aid. All the while, he voted against warranting FISA warrants on us, 702s, where they can, they can literally surveil you with no warrants now. And he voted basically to allow that to happen. So, so our elected officials have let us down tremendously. If we don't have a reset Congress, we're going to have a major problem. I'm, I'm just, we're just going to literally see the demise of our country. But on this situation, what's it going to take to see America have better days? What's it going to take to see America have better borders? Brace yourself, because I'm going to be honest with you. You know what I think it's going to take? I think it's going to take mass casualty. I think it's going to take a mass attack. Now, I hate to say that, and I hope that I'm completely wrong. But what happened? Israel gets bombed. I mean, Iranian is bombing, and, and now they're saying that they are literally going to war with Israel. Now, 99% of the bombs and, and missiles that were shot at Israel were, were taken down by either our defense capabilities or, of course, Israel's uh, Iron Dome. No one actually got hurt. People are still on the beaches, and I hope that they can go back to normal life. But because of that, because of that major attack, it then makes Johnson say, well, we need to spend money. 
and he didn't just say for Israel, it goes back to Ukraine now. It takes a mass casualty, mass attack event before something's done. And then what it is, is what politics plays on to it. The heartstrings, they're pulling your heartstrings. So if all of a sudden a lot of people just die, or a lot of people get hurt, a lot of people just get misplaced, then we can do something about it. It's all about going with the sway of the wind or the sway of the water. Wherever it takes us, us sleazy politicians are going to go. And I say that for the massive amount of the Uniparty. It may be ones or twosies that are, that are pretty good guys and, and, and they'll do a good job and they stand on principles. But for the majority, they don't. This guy has pushed against the 99 billion or whatever it was uh, bill that, that they were pushing a few weeks ago. Even though he was like, well, you know, we're gonna, we're gonna just think about it. He wouldn't bring it to the house to vote. But remember, it's because he was trying to be the conservative. He was trying to look good, look staunch because we were not getting the border. And then guess what? Since this all of a sudden takes place, Iran bombs Israel, it looks bad, you know, massive event. Now we've got to do foreign aid. So now the Republicans, the, the, the rank and file Republicans will support it. Of course the Democrats will support it. And then it will get passed through. So all of a sudden now another hundred billion dollars is spent on foreign aid while our border is still open. While we are allowing these NGOs from the Darien Gap and from South America to send droves of people across our border. While we're allowing states to allow all these people to vote because they're getting social security cards and they're able to cast a vote. What's it going to take? What's it actually going to take to change things in America? I don't think that that we're in, in for a good revival. I wish we were. I wish it was like revitalization, revival, city on a hill, change, great awakening three. I mean, I wish that's actually what would happen. But I'm scared to say the only thing that's going to change, either we're either going to keep going down this toilet bowl, keep going around and around in the white porcelain potty and go down the drain, or the only way that we're going to change past and see a major pendulum swing to get these crazy congressmen who are all about their self and about sleazy politics, the only way that's going to change is if something massive happens in America. Another 9-11. Another major event. I hope it doesn't. I hope it doesn't happen. I'm not calling for it. I hope, it, I pray something like that doesn't happen because it's unfair to the American people. So it's not going to be the, oh, the, the random murder, the random theft, the random crime, the, the random break-in entering. Remember, that's all happening and nothing's been done about it. A few conservatives talk about it, like, you know, Miss Riley and, and some of those others that have passed away and, and have lost their lives due to this problem. There's been countless crimes like that. But it didn't get this it didn't get the story didn't get the narrative didn't get the agenda pushed by legacy media it's going to take a massive event that people cannot shy away from that's the only way so as much as we don't want to hear it we're going to see a monster situation happen before we do anything about our border because people are scared to have a backbone and actually stand on principle look at look at the abortion rights Conservatives got just what they wanted, states' rights. Hey, look, let's, let's don't make a federal bill, which I'm, a, again, I'm a Christian conservative, so I believe that we should outlaw it. But if you say, okay, let's put it back to the states, let the states decide. Totally fine with that. I'm on board. And then every state that's pretty much taken, they're like, well, you know, uh, I mean, let's, let's be careful of this. Let's, you know, let's don't push the buttons of all these people. Look at Arizona. Arizona, it goes back to an old band that they had. And now Kerry Lake, Donald Trump, everybody's running away from it. Well, that's a little too extreme and far. Isn't it amazing that you start seeing the true colors of people when the light shines on them? Johnson, complete and utter sleazy politician. And I'm sorry I'm a ranty this morning, but I get so flipping mad that we have leadership that are so spineless that are so spineless that, that, that they won't even stand up for moral principles i mean think think of the border wall this border wall could have been solved remember trump pushed for it trump didn't want a lot of billions of dollars to do it it was like four what 14 billion or something like that 20 billion that's a lot of money but we're talking about spending 100 billion across the seas but trump pushed for a border wall in his own party, the, the, these people here, these conservatives, these quote-unquote Republicans and conservatives, would not vote for that border wall. They had every chamber. They had the leadership in Washington. They let, All they had to do was pass it. They wouldn't do it. Because, see, Republicans are good at playing defense. They want to act like they're going to change the world and do good things, but then when they actually can do something, 
they want because they're spineless. They try to move to the center, they get off their morals and values, and they falter. And that's exactly what we're seeing with Mike Johnson. So you know how you're gonna get a border wall? Something very, very bad happening. And I hate that. I wish it would be just revival. I wish it'd be just a reset that's in the right way. But I'm scared to say, I don't think we'll ever see the pendulum swing until we see something chaotic. Will it take something like a war? I don't, I don't know. I think it's gonna take something, some kind of mass event on our US soil before people wake up. Because when people wake up, then all of a sudden it moves the political waters and then all these sleazy politicians they're going to just go, they're just going to run straight to it, flock to it, and act like they're going to be the savior of the world, put their Superman vest on, and they're going, they're going to be the superheroes. This is our leadership, and this is what we get. We are voting for these people. In politics, we, it's like we believe everything. Whatever they tell us, it's like we're like, yeah, okay. Like, put a dunce hat on. It's so stupid. What are we doing? So now we have a, a new package of billions of dollars that will now filter out from taking care of your family and your kids to now going straight overseas. All because no one got hurt in Israel. I mean, we defended, UK defended, and Israel defended. Did a phenomenal job. I would never make light of that. I'm glad they defended. However, now it allows us to open the doors for billions of dollars worth of spending while we're allowing our border just to stay open. Unbelievable. So give me your thoughts. Am I wrong? I actually think that if we want to see change, I wish we would see it in a positive and uplifting and good way. I'm just scared that we're going to have to see it in a 9-11 kind of way. And that scares me. That really does. Because then it's like, if I lived in cities, if I lived in some of these areas, it, it would. It, I'd have a caution uh, just about in any and everything. I mean, again, we're allowing millions across our border. Who's to say one of those are not the one who's going to start that? on the U.S. soul. Something to think about today. I hope that you start your day off, of course, in a word of prayer every day. And I hope you find wisdom each and every morning because we live in a chaotic world. And if we don't, if we, if we don't ground ourselves, this stuff right here will just blow us away. And I'll, I'll be honest with you, it made me mad this morning when I read all these stories about how, again, we're helping everybody in the world and just allowing America just to pfft, cease to take care of itself. This blows my mind. Let me know your thoughts on this video. Again, if you are new to the channel, please go down here and press subscribe. Our goal is to give as much good information as we can. And, and again, even when we give bad information, and I get this all the time where people are like, oh, why are you sharing bad things? I'm just sharing reality, man. I'm not sharing anything. I wish I could share things that, you know, Bluebell came out with a new ice cream and that's our big story for the day. That's not the case. We live in a chaotic world. Now the question is, what can we learn from it? And if we gain knowledge and wisdom and do our research about it, then we can figure out how to be proactive, how to be prepared, and how to take care of our family. That's why we share this. And then ultimately, you can find hope in any situation. If we press on, seek Christ, and know that God's always there, we will be okay. Guys, let me know what you think. God bless. Happy